right, Coach Rubin here with your warm-up today. Part A is going to be two rounds. We're going to work for 45 seconds and rest for 15 seconds. We'll cycle through three movements. Uh, so for the first movement, 45 seconds, you'll do high knees in place. Nice and easy, just warming it up. Number two, we're going to do high plank shoulder taps. So we'll go to the push-up position of the high plank. For this one, you want your feet slightly outside your shoulders. Alternate, touching your shoulders. Try to minimize or eliminate any lateral movement with your lower body. Try to keep your hips stable. Number three is going to be your sumo deadlift high pull. It's your hinge, adding in the elbows high and outside. I'm using my backpack and my odd object. Of course, if you have a dumbbell or a kettlebell, that works great. Good hinge. I'm going to do my deadlift and my high pull here. Hips back, chest forward, elbows high and outside. So this, those three movements, uh, 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest. We'll cycle through that for two rounds. All right, for part two of your warm up, it's going to be a six minute EMOM or every minute on the minute. We're going to cycle through two movements. So that means you'll do three rounds. Your first one is going to be 10 ground to overheads. We'll build off of that high pull and take your odd object, your kettlebell or your dumbbell from the floor, good hinge, all the way overhead. 10 reps at the top of the minute. You'll rest to the next part, and then when the second minute comes, we're gonna do 10 push-ups, and then elbows and toes plank for the rest of the minute. So, for your push-ups, all the way down, chest to floor. Once again, if you have to scale this to your knees, you can, we still want good full range of motion all the way down, chest to the floor. When you're done, we'll hold your plank, elbows and toes, for the rest of the minute. 